Jimmy Page, the legendary guitarist of Led Zeppelin, is often celebrated for his profound impact on rock music and his unparalleled talent. Among his admirers is Dave Grohl, the frontman of the Foo Fighters, who once wrote, I consider Jimmy Page freakier than Jimi Hendrix. Hendrix was a genius on fire, whereas Page was a genius possessed. Zeppelin concerts and albums were like exorcisms for them. This vivid comparison underscores Page's profound and almost mystical influence, elevating rock music to new heights. Grohl's admiration for Page extends beyond mere technical skill. Page doesn't just use his guitar as an instrument. For him, it's like some sort of emotional translator, Grohl explains. This sentiment captures the core of Led Zeppelin's appeal, their ability to transform the solid foundations of the blues into a new genre, blending classical compositional thinking with raw emotional intensity that shook the rock counterculture to its core. As the chief orchestrator of Led Zeppelin, Page's influence is evident in almost every track in their extensive back catalog. Despite this, there are a few songs and albums that Page wasn't particularly fond of. He described Living Loving Maid and All of My Love, as well as the entire In Through the Outdoor album, as a little soft. However, for the most part, Page was a staunch supporter of the band's theatrical and expansive musical approach, often countering Robert Plant's admission that the band could sometimes be overblown and that he was prone to vocal hysterics. Choosing favorites from Led Zeppelin's rich discography is a daunting task for Page. However, over time, he has managed to narrow down his top three tracks, which not only showcase his genius, but also the band's ability to push the boundaries of rock music. Whole of Love epitomizes Led Zeppelin's ability to elevate the blues to unprecedented heights. The band's approach to this song involved pushing every element to its extreme. They recorded John Bonham's drums in a room with 28-foot ceilings to achieve a massive sound. Their engineer was instructed to twiddle every knob known to man to create a unique sonic experience, and Robert Plant's lyrics took on an operatic, almost primal quality. In discussing his favorites, Page highlighted Whole Lotta Love during a press conference for the remastered release of their first three albums. It's very difficult to say with Led Zeppelin, he noted, because I have separate memories for each one, how they were recorded, the sentiment, what they mean is all about. But I would say a track, to actually be able to access the idea of what comes with these companion disc audio, and the release would be Whole Lotta Love. Page emphasized the hard work and experimentation that went into the final version of the song. When you hear it, you see just how much work went into the final version of Whole of Love. I think that's one of my favorites. Kashmir is often described by Robert Plant as the quintessential Led Zeppelin track, and it's a sentiment echoed by Page. The song's expansive riff and orchestral arrangement provided a broad canvas for the band's creativity. Page once explained his affection for the song to Rolling Stone. I suppose Kashmir has to be the one. I knew that this wasn't just something guitar-based. The inspiration for Kashmir came from a trip Plant and Page took to Morocco, which introduced them to North African music and rhythms. This cultural infusion is evident in the song's hypnotic and expansive quality. The intensity of Kashmir was such that when we had it completed, we knew there was something really hypnotic to it. We couldn't even describe such a quality, Page recalled. Initially, he even found the song frightening due to its powerful impact. Since I've Been Loving You stands as a testament to Led Zeppelin's ability to take a simple blues format and elevate it to a level of complexity and emotional depth that was uniquely their own. According to Page, this track exemplifies how well the four members worked together. That shows how the four of us worked so well together. Obviously, we rehearse the number and count one, two, three, four, press the red light, and that's what you have. The song presented significant technical challenges, pushing the band to their limits. Plant described the musical progression at the end of each verse as an unconventional choice that added to the song's regal and emotional lift. He reflected, and it's that lift up there that's so regal and so emotional. I don't know whether that was born from the loins of JP or JPJ, but I know that when we reached that point in the song, you could get a lump in the throat from being in the middle of it. Since I've Been Loving You also became a live staple, 
showcasing the band's ethos of drawing from blues traditions and then infusing them with classical complexity and their own distinct style. Jimmy Page's genius lies not just in his technical proficiency, but in his ability to imbue his music with deep emotional resonance. His favorites, Whole Lotta Love, Kashmir, and Since I've Been Loving You, reflect his innovative spirit and the collaborative magic of Led Zeppelin. These tracks continue to captivate audiences, illustrating the timeless appeal of a band that forever changed the landscape of rock music.